This week's top secret is a video we filmed, and it has the new ESP32 workflow. That's right. Um, I, well, we, uh, Scott added support for the Odroid Go, which I was like, well, this is really nice because it has like everything built in, yeah, it's and it's, you can just plug, you know, yeah. everything's ready. So I was like, oh, you know what, I'm, I'm lazy, and I want to go with the easiest thing. So <laughs> even though the Feather has been supported for a while, I wanted to wait till we had something with a screen on it. Um, so I could quickly see and debug the output. Okay, I'm gonna play the video. Go for All right, it. Data, what is this? Okay, so we have merged web workflow on the ESP32 for Adafruit Circuit Python, thanks to Scott and Dan for doing the review. And what that means is now, when we have devices like this Odroid Go, which is this really cool ESP32-based um, gaming platform, if I turn this on and wait for it to boot and it's connecting, to the internet, you'll see at the top bar, it's gonna to connect to Wi-Fi and it gets an IP address, 10.0.1.113. And if I go to my browser and I go to 10.0.1.13, you'll see that it connects to, um, this is served by the device itself. And then I can click on the serial terminal and um, I can actually type in stuff into here, and then it shows up on the terminal here. So this is uh, a complete echo. Print hello, and then you can see it here. So I can control and communicate with the ESP32 um, over Wi-Fi using a Chrome browser. Okay, and that's top secret. And you can uh, check out the blog post that we have on this as well. Okay.